Here we can see the Grade Center for a course with one student. And as you scroll over, you can see that there are four tests. And at the end, there's a continuous assessment, which has been done using, uh, from here, the weighted column. If we look at the column information, you can see that it's a weighted column. And the four columns are equally weighted at 25% each. Now, say you wanted to add an extra test option for students. So you create a new column. You are going to call it test five. And we want to eventually allow the students to get the best four out of their five attempts. So you create your new column to enter your mark for the fifth test. It's going to be marked out of 100 or whatever you're going to mark it out of. And it's important to choose that the category, we're going to put it the same category as the other four tests. So we're going to call it the in-class test category and scroll down and hit submit. So now I have another column, test five, which is set up exactly the same way as the other tests. If we look in at one of these and edit the column information, you'll see test four is set up out of 100 and we have in-class test is the uh, category and the category is important for when we want to combine them and count the best four out of five attempts. So to do that, if we put in a mark, say they do really well on the catch up to the extra test and get 90, we can then create a calculated column, an average column. Now doing this, we can give it a new, say CA best four. So we're going to give the best four out of five tests. If we scroll down here, we can fill in the rest of the details. But what you want to do is include in the average the selected columns and categories. And go down to the categories and choose the category where all of your different tests are. In this case, your five different tests. And move it across to here. You can then equally weight them, so they're all of equal uh, importance, and we're going to drop the lowest one grade. So we're going to basically have the average of the top four rather than the top, uh, than all five. If you chose two here, it'd work out the average of your top three marks out of the five. Scroll down and hit submit, and you can see now that our average is 43.75%, which includes this lowest mark of 30, but when we look at the best four out of five, it's now jumped to 58.75%, excluding that one mark and averaging just 90, 50, 50 and 45.